So do you want to kick this one off, or do you want me to do it? Uh, I feel like I've been still in the spotlight a lot lately for this. I'll, I'll start us off. Let's start us off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Because this is a special one. Special one. A right, special look. episode. Welcome back, ladies and gents, children of all ages. We are back today with another episode of the Mind This Four podcast presents Scare Actor Appreciation Month. Today we got one of our favorite duos out in the game, Seth and Allison. That's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. You know, yeah, but you're a natural for that. Natural. That's the first time. That's first time we've done that. That's pretty good. One run through. Yeah. One run through. One run through. What's, What's up, guys? How you guys been? Chilling, man. Pretty good. <laughs> it's been a it's been an interesting fun season. Yes, mm-hmm. it was really fun this season. I had a great time actually. Definitely we had one of my best. Freaking blast this year. So and for those who, uh, for, who who don't recognize y'all behind you know in a normal day to day life, would you guys like to share a little bit like who you guys are out in them streets? Oof. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> my character at Knotts was the school teacher, and I did that character because my day job is also a school teacher. Uh oh. Yep. So it wasn't hard to really method yeah. acting. She, she went, went full blown, blown just, you know, every every, every m- Thursdays through, through Sundays, she all, all that rage she held in all week. Honestly, though, came yeah. out. <laughs> at honestly, though. She works with infants. Just so I know, you know I work with babies. <laughs> Even better. Babies and toddlers. <laughs> After from what we heard from Hostel last night about, you know, dealing with kids, he said he, uh, he did one thing where he like tend to kick a baby and smash his I head. Believe that. <laughs> I believe oh, like, I know exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. 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 It was, I know oh, God. About. Whenever babies come by, I just go like, oh, a little snack. And their mom's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and I just run away. That's if they bring a baby to I've seen you do that. I've, <laughs> seen, I've seen it happen a lot this season, too. <laughs> Does they bring babies? Yes. yes. Yeah, I don't understand what why. Like, they're not really babies. I'm like, what? What's the point of that? I know. It was like, you know what they're going to do. They're find gonna a babysitter. Well, they're not really phased, but... They're not, but, like, still, it's... Yeah. It's like, you I don't know. That? <laughs> yeah. But, um... What about, about you, Seth? Seth? Your, your character. character. Uh, I kind of don't really have, like, a character, like, specifically, like... The gentleman? Like, yeah. Our <laughs> cast lead just started calling me the gentleman, because I started wearing that black coat. Um, it's freaking I didn't wear fly it, like, too. the first weekend because it was so hot. Yeah, it was, it was a couple really of hot, hot nights of the rest of the run, but the nights I would wear the, the coat, I felt like more proper or something like that. For a while, I thought I actually had Death's old coat. I, I, yeah. yeah. Shout no. out Pegs. But yeah, That's it turns a- out I didn't, thank God. <laughs> there been a lot yeah. of shoes and stuff in, too. Yeah, I know, right? But um, no, nah, I don't really, I've never really had like a solid character. I'm just, I would. I always just try to do like a maniac sort of thing. Like I'm just crazy. I'm here to kill you. That's kind of like <laughs> my vibe. I'm crazy, crazy yeah, and I'm here to kill you. That's, that's his new motto. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great. One. I could use. We should put that. We should put on on that on the shirt of set list we're doing. I'm crazy and I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Featuring Seth. Featuring we're, we're coming out with a new uh, a t-shirt pretty soon. Where uh, since we did our thing this year, our little gimmick we did was the All Hell Breaks Loose tour, and we had all our dates. Now this time we're gonna do All Hell Breaks Loose tour 2019 set list. It's, it's all, all the favorite, favorite quotes that we've heard from monsters all season. <laughs> oh, nice! So <laughs> it's a, it's a way kind of in, introduce uh, almost like a song set list, list but it's a, it's all it's all quotes, mm-hmm. which I think is gonna be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. We have about like what, like fifteen or yeah, twenty like of them almost. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, They're all really stupid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> stupid, but we thought they were hilarious. It made us laugh. It made us laugh. It makes for a good time. Of course, one of them is troublemakers. Mm. That's that's a must. Because we we heard that all season. Yeah. So I mean, you know, we all did. That was hilarious. Shout out. Um, Shout out to Brent. Sheriff. It's been a it's been a fun season, guys, and a lot of it has to do with you two, at least with us, because we hung out in uh, Kmart most of our our, our season and. Um, we were blessed, blessed enough, enough right for right. having you, you guys at least come a couple hours every night. That was our spot. <laughs> was spot we loved that chill spot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, if we're not like running around in circles yeah. for like an hour Because that's straight. what we usually do. Yeah. yeah. And then we're just like, let's go to Kmart. <laughs> yeah, we'll get gassed out and then we go to Kmart and chill, play with the shadows and the light over there. I think that part's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It is. I mean, I mean they always set it up for a great scare. scare. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Un- it's an underestimated area for sure. Yeah. yeah. That floodlight really mm. just separates dude like you've seen it firsthand i can sit there for a while and just play with that that whole floodlight <laughs> thing right in, in kmart it's too much fun like coming from especially like when i used to work carnival mm-hmm. back in 2014-15 
that's just light everywhere, so yeah. you don't really have shadows at all. So coming to Ghost Town was like, ooh. I get, I get to play, play with the shadows. shadows. Yeah, I mean, there you CS go. CS had a lot of shadows, and it was a lot of fun. I love CS, but Ghost Town was just like way too much fun. Oh, yeah. So how long have you guys been on Ghost Town? <laughs> this, this is my second year. This is my first year. Oh, wow. Well, rookie, yeah. huh? Rookie. rookie yeah. Yeah. Rookie. <laughs> well, yeah. One yeah. of the rookies. But uh, you, you said you've worked, of course, uh, Hollows before, mm -hmm. and which is Camp Snoopy. And um, Carnival. So you were not new to streets. You've been doing it for years prior to that, obviously. Yeah, I, I started in 2013. I actually started in camp, and then they took camp out. So then I was like, do I go to Ghost Town? Do I go to Carnival? Ended up going to Carnival for two years. Took a year off. Went back to CS for two more years. And then was finally in Ghost Town this year. So nice, I nice. That's how it worked out for me. Well, so One of the back to Carnival next year? <laughs> Two years on, one year uh, off. Nobody ever really <laughs> knows. <laughs> I never know until August. He's gonna have his pa his pattern going. You know what I mean? Uh, um, I see patterns. One, one of the things I loved with you two this season was you guys would always set each other up for scares, mm -hmm. and I think that's amazing when a duo does that because. Um, you know, you'd see Allison out there with the paddle. That's already intimidated as it is if you're walking down a freaking fog, <laughs> dimly lit alley, and then you just see a, a person with the paddle, and you're just like, oh, fuck. I think it's her face alone is yeah, intimidating. Yeah, that's what she always says. <laughs> the face, Sometimes, too. like, we'd set each other up for those scares, but, like, half the time it wasn't even intentional. Sometimes we'd just come out of nowhere and be like, oh, that worked. We may have done an actual setup, like, three times. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah, like you said, sometimes they, they wouldn't even freaking, they wouldn't even know. It would just be an intentional thing, which yeah, I thought was freaking right. hilarious. And I'm like, I'd like, go, I, I go up to her and be like, you just set that up? No, we didn't know. No. It was on, completely on accident. <laughs> like, honestly, I didn't even see that person. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to scare them. Or I'd be like, nice scare. Like, oh, you got him. She's like, who? 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 I didn't see What? <laughs> yeah. It was weird how it happened to, like, start start running with her yeah, it was like it, one yeah of, it was really random like one night right after rope drop happened i just like turned a corner i think right into marketplace was it yeah market street was where i usually started yeah so i saw her and then i was like i'm just gonna try running with her and <laughs> we went and it just like clicked the whole time and i was like yeah. yo you're pretty sick she's like you too <laughs> so that's how that started <laughs> yeah, that's the dynamic duo was born exactly yeah. 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 it's been it's been, a, it's been a really fun one um no, because one, one of the things I love to, that you do too is when you do the slide, <laughs> you're iconic for that fucking hair flip. Yeah. I, <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I had to bring it up because like, it was like it was like a staple to your character this year. It was every time you did the slide, it was like a hair flip. And I was like, look at the rock star over here, man. This is legit right here. You should have seen me in 2017. The hair was a lot longer. That's what I, that's what I heard. Yeah, it was, it was like, it became a thing. So like when I cut it, I cut it really, I actually like shaved my head. And then, so when I came back in 2018 in CS again, I just looked awkward. That's why I like wore a hood. I was like, oh, I feel stupid. <laughs> Not really my character anymore, or whatever I was. Yeah. Yeah. Shadow creature, whatever you want to call it. Shadow that. creature. Yeah. Um, Allison, Allison, we saw, saw you a lot the last couple hours, hours of your shift too, doing a lot yeah, of solo work. Yeah, I was alone work. at that point. <laughs> yeah. <Later. laughs> this guy left me at midnight. So we'd so always kind of be like her. her. Uh, unofficial, unofficial guardian. Yeah, angel. they were. Like just looking out. <laughs> they and stuff. really were. We had a lot of funny moments with you, and one of the funniest moments we had with you as well was, of course, one that actually happened with Carly, with the girls in the corner. Yeah. And you oh jumped in on that yeah. and just made it even better. Yeah. Um, when it's something like that happens, and you see that from a distance, is it usually something that you're like, should I jump in, or is it something like I'm gonna jump no, in? No, usually this I just jump in right away. Yeah. Like, it doesn't even matter who it is, I'll just jump in. Just jump in? Yeah, and that's funny, because that's actually my first interaction that I ever had with Carly. She, she said, said on, the, on the show, too, that, like, if you didn't come, like, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have worked as well yeah. as it did. And I, I, we were right there on the bench when it happened. Yeah, it happened right in front of you guys. Yeah, it was the funniest thing ever. She was telling she was yelling at them to stay in their corners. And you came with the paddle. You had one in one corner, they had one in the other corner. And they came back like three more times. Yeah, they after didn't that. leave. We, yeah. Eventually, yeah, they we didn't. eventually had to get someone to kick them out. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was like, what's, like, what's going, going on? on? Like, yeah. they keep coming, coming back, back we for were more. With them. I think that was one of like the most craziest nights too, yeah. right? Yeah. I, yeah, I think so actually. That was, that was really funny though. Yeah, it was a group of girls, and they just kept like coming back to Kmart Alley and like getting scared in the same corner. And I was like, okay, you guys are lame. You need to. I straight up told them they need to leave. I was like, you guys are done. Get out of here. <laughs> right behind the little statue. Yeah. What was even more funny is the next night, I don't know, you probably didn't see this one. 
Carly got another person to go into a corner. She's good at that, yeah. And I don't know how. And like, she was like, turned around. And I was like, and he turned around. I was like, do these people not think for themselves? <laughs> <laughs> they just, they, just, they don't. They just like, they think once they go, they're in a different control of, you know, just the fog. different mindset. The, 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 the fog, fog takes over, man. The fog's alive. It takes over your lungs. It takes over your lungs. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, there's sometimes where I just hold my breath through the fogs. I'm like, oh, I could just... Ugh. Like, those last <laughs> couple of nights, it. it was really bad. When it was yeah. super cold. Yeah. Well, and, that, and then there was that, there was that last night where they were just trying to get rid of it all. And yeah, <laughs> you oh, couldn't see yeah, shit. they put it in all the fog machines. They were like, like we, we got, got so, so much left, left we gotta get rid of it. There was no intervals. It was just constant. I was like, I can't see anything. And I was like, dude, it's so foggy out here. I can't see anything in Kmart right now. I know, dude. And, and I can only imagine because you guys are wearing not only the, the prosthetics of the mask, but like a lot of people wear contacts too. Yeah, we did. And that makes it even sometimes. harder to look. Yeah. yeah. She was down and took them out. No, a lot. I took them out sometimes. <laughs> She's like, I, don't I think I wore them more nights than I did. Ah, liar. She's like, fuck these things. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't like wearing them, but I wore them. <laughs> well, those things. I, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't tried them. I, I'm willing to try it. Give it a try. You definitely get used to it. Oh, see, you complain sure. about yours all the time too. So shut hey, up. I still wear them. <laughs> there was actually one. There was one night, and, and we were sitting in front of the candies or in front of the saloon, and you came up to like me and Sam. You're like, "What do you think of my new eyes, boys?" Oh, the, night with the black ones. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Was my, I had my squares in that night. I, those work better in the hollow for the creature look. Yeah, it didn't work with your character. I didn't no, want to no. say anything I to just, you, but it didn't. No, yeah, I didn't love it. That's why the it was truth one comes out. They're sick. I was no, like, oh, yeah, um, they look nice. So. I just wanted to see how they felt again and how it looked with it, and obviously it wasn't kosher, but <laughs> I, I was just one night and then I ditched them. Definitely. You, uh, you, uh, you guys usually ro uh, rolled in like a trio. You had another person with you at some point. Oh, yeah, sometimes Casey would be with us too. He was just like one of the coolest little sliders I've ever seen. Dude. Yeah. Like that guy, and I think awesome. that's what he had the advantage of, of him being the size he is get a lot of those good scares. Yeah. Dude, he's honestly really, really good and stealthy. There's this yeah. one yeah, spot in Kmart by the tree, like kind of on the other end from the bench. Yeah. yeah. And he kind of just like nestles himself in there. He's the gargoyle character. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he does it well, <laughs> yeah. very well. And I went over there to like hide in the dark real quick. <laughs> okay. And I saw him and I was like, Jesus Christ, like, what? when did you get here? I didn't even see you. So, and yeah, he's super stealthy. I love Casey, mm -hmm. little bitch. <laughs> there was one night that I kind of remember vaguely or I don't remember vaguely I remember actually pretty well it was kind of something that happened on accident happened with Allison and uh, we were sitting on the bench and we saw a roach on the floor Oh my god. Those are and I, and, you know, I told her I'm like hey look out there's a roach and she like jumped like out of her skin like what and I was like don't worry, I killed it. I was like, I didn't need to scare you. I was just trying to That's warn you. That's one thing that I do not fuck with. I don't fuck with cockroaches. I don't blame you. Those mm -hmm. things are fucking nasty. Yeah, that that did scare me. So, going into an event like this, there's obviously always a, a, a prepping phase before the event starts. What is, the, what is something you guys do before the event starts to kind of get you in that mindset? Dance. Dance? Open up the pit or what? No, like dance, like funk, like listen there to you some go. funk music or something. There you go. Um, no, nah, there's like a wide range of things. Like for sure, listen to music, mm. but so many different types. Like some nights will be like hardcore music. Some nights will be just some heavy hip hop, boom bap beats. And then like early in the season, I was like listening to like J-pop and just like getting hyped off of weird stuff. Just, <laughs> yeah, if it's making me dance, I'm gonna want to just go out there and burn energy and that makes yeah. me want to slide and just go crazy and all that so what about you Allison what is something you well, get into the mood for me on like Thursdays and Fridays I would be coming from work so I, I work in Costa Mesa I would have to sit in traffic for usually like an hour that usually helps though you know yeah it actually it actually did because sometimes if I would get out early enough I'd be able to get food and then I would just be like sitting in traffic listening to music and eating there and I'm just prepping myself for the night and you, got, you already got that anger from the wind in traffic yeah. too, so I mean yeah. that helps a lot. That's uh, yeah, because there's I, I, and I, that's always something I've always just been fascinated and curious about is how people get into these characters mm -hmm. they get in because um, something like it, going to a haunt like me and him every time we listen to just a wide variety of stuff it depends what we're in the mood for. Nine out of ten times it was either Slayer or Pantera. <laughs> Cowboys will. Hey, hey, that was like that was like that was our unofficial theme song right there for Ghost Town. It always Mill. is, man. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted. I was, I was like, they gotta do a night where they just put that on loop all night. <laughs> no montage with that song. Uh -huh. yeah. 
He's like, oh, it was in the works. works. <laughs> I was thinking about it still. I still got a lot of clips. I can yeah. do some. I wanted more. We wanted more clips of the Cowboys. Uh, we we want to do a whole Caleb. montage of just Caleb. all the Cowboys. Just Caleb. The whole montage. Just Caleb. <laughs> yeah. um, but, but I mean, so, so there's, there's probably been stuff that we didn't even see. see. Is there any stories, stories that you guys have that like were scares that you were just like, holy shit, like I had to walk off because I couldn't hold my laugh. I know there was a couple, I've seen Allison do it a couple of times where she just had to like literally go into the door. That because, have to go in the corner, yeah, I, had a, yeah. I have a couple of those. Like I would know when she would walk off and like she probably has to laugh about something or something. <laughs> yeah, happened. that's something that I have a hard time with. I can't like hold in my laughter. I don't blame, I don't see. happens. The, the, and, and this, this is where, where it, because there's, there's characters who will go full blown method from when they, when they yeah. uh, leave that gate to when that they is not me. Hostel is one of them, and he did something. The, he did the funniest thing on the closing night where uh, he made some kid jump over this rope, and he actually ate shit. <laughs> and I was like, how do you not laugh right then and there? I'd be fucking dying, dude. dude he's lost in it, man. No, like he I is. Know. That's like Merrick too. Merrick is. Yeah. Oh God, Merrick. Seeing him at the end of the night, sometimes I'd be washing my face. He'd be taking his makeup off too. He's just like, he just looks like bothered in his head, and he'll turn to everybody like, "Do you guys ever have like trouble getting out of it?" You know, and we're all like, "Like what?" I'm pretty out of it already. <laughs> like I'm still dealing with. Seth's already thinking about tacos and food, man. Yeah, I'm like well past that. I'm like ready for my shower and Betty by. And Merrick is still Merrick. <laughs> Merrick's Merrick's Merrick year round. He just releases yeah. it and hot. He gets off earlier, so like usually when I see him, he's still there at two in the morning. And he's usually out of it by then. He's like, "Oh, hey, Allison, how was your night?" He's like, "Are you gonna get food after this?" <laughs> Well, like At that point, yeah. Allison's already dead. She's like, I wasn't thinking about it. But he's we, can, we can do something. <laughs> no, I, I love Merrick though. He's, he's just a nut out mm -hmm. there. It's crazy. Him and, and Lucio so together nice is in insane. Oh, oh my god, it's it's, it's, it's like, like the yeah. inmates are running the asylum at that point. Yeah, when they're together. It's we've seen some insane stuff with them too. Dude, I felt like kind of bad this season because specifically with Hostel. He well, we always wanted to make it a thing. Like every week, it was like, let's hang out, let's run, let's let's go on a session. And every time we would kind of try, I felt like I, I did not know what to do yeah. at all. He was so good at just you know doing hostel, yeah. Yeah. and I'm like, wow, my improv skills are awful, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go yeah. this way, man. Coming up st stuff, stuff on the spot, spot. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't blame you. That yeah. shit. He was he's just really good. Like our characters are just very different, different. like insanely different. I just didn't know how to interact with him. But as far as like just like going hard in laps, like we're relatively the same. Like, you know, but it was nice we couldn't even keep up with you most of the time. <laughs> we try to follow you one time to get footage, and I'm like, I give up. I yeah, give up. We'll see him in Kmart. We'll see him in Kmart. There's a lot of people that were like that, though, man. Like, I was trying to get just a bunch of footage of everybody, and it's just yeah. everybody's. And I understood that, I mean, because on pack nights, you got to keep doing the laps, man. Oh, power laps. Yeah, yeah power you got to keep going. Now, another, another question that. Um, we've been wanting to know a lot too do you guys keep track of like all your calories and steps and shit like that <laughs> i not, actually not the did did you take yeah calories? you know i had that watch that i had on every night it kept up track of everything oh wow yeah. I thought that was just a pedometer no yeah it kept track of my heart rate my calories Damn. how many miles i walked what, what was, was the most you walked on a night I don't. I would have to check. I don't know. I would say average ten to fifteen miles. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a lot. Because I only Man. wore it during hot. I didn't wear it during the day. Yeah. yeah. Imagine, Imagine that plus like the entire season. Yeah. So that's gotta be. Oh no! I lost ten pounds this season. Uh, I lost like good. six pounds, seven pounds this <laughs> just season. Just walking around. Just, just walking, walking around. around. And yeah. Because I would wake up and not eat until like two. <laughs> That helped too. So, you know, we were just uh, intermittent fasting a little bit. And then we'd eat again at like three in the morning. Uh, it, was it was the same thing with me. I wouldn't eat till like I'd probably have one meal yeah. the entire day. Shout out to Del Taco. Right? <laughs> the Chirumbi Pave Haunt. Dilly Dilly. Uh, Del Wait, no, it's Del TZ. Oh, Del TZ. Del TZ. <laughs> freaking free Dilly Dilly is a Bud Light thing, isn't it? Yes, it is, but I'm going to use it for Del Taco in this context. <laughs> um, so, so, like. like an event, event like this, this of, course, of course, you think, you think a lot of these people are into horror. horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We find out right before we go on the air that you guys are not really the big horror fans. Fun fact. <laughs> let's uh, let's explore really. that a little Fun bit. Fact. I hate horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yep. I don't hate them. I do. They just don't really get me going. Well, let's see. Do you like any of horror movies? Yeah. No. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I mean, there's some I like. 
but I'm not like a huge horror fan. Like a lot of people come into Hunt, like, oh, I love horror, or I already love Scary Farm and everything, and I want to work it, and I, this is what I always wanted to do. I came into it pretty blind. I was like, this looks pretty fun. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like scaring people. That was, that was always fun to me, but I don't know. I treat Hunt kind of like a sport in a way, like with sliding. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, but I, I couldn't go out there and fucking slide every morning. See how big I am? It, you could do it, man. Oh, no, you could do just it. Saying, there's some, there's some big I don't know, man. I broke my ankle back two years ago, and I can't really do much of it. I used to be able to skate. Now I can't even do that. Dude, tell that to the Wendigo. Shout out Trey. Shout out Trey. <laughs> Dude basically broke his ankle, and he was like, <sighs> Came back took for the two last nights weekend. off. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Not liking horror. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, what is it about horror that you don't like? Is it just something like, has it always just been the jump scares, or... I think it's more just like, not that I don't like it, it's more that it just doesn't amaze me. Like, eh, more of a comedy guy. <laughs> I don't blame you, comedy's great. Comedy's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, comedy's yeah, amazing. I don't know, lately I think with horror movies that I've seen, like with the, the new It movies and all that, I even saw like a remake of Amityville Horror, and that was just like, God, this is so garbage. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, if I'm watching a horror movie, I want to legitimately like get scared, and like none of them have just been like scary lately. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm usually pretty easily scared, <laughs> and that was kind of like bumming me out. But, See, I don't know. How'd you do with The Exorcist? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, scary, no. but it was like uh, uh, I don't know. I like more like psychological thrillers. Those are more like oh god. I go home and look in the mirror and just freak out, you know, like that. <laughs> so I think a big fear of mine is like losing my mind. Yeah. yeah. Like so the shining. Yeah. Exactly. Did yeah. you watch Us? Yeah. Did that make you think? I honestly just hated the movie. I was like, that made me think a lot after. It <laughs> I mean, yeah, it made me think. Of course, like I was that like, movie was beyond confusing. Well, I was like, I'm too dumb for this. What was scary for me after I saw that movie is I went to go drop off my cousin after the after the movie, and this guy pulls up next to me on his truck, and I kid you not. Is at least what I saw. He looks over at me and he starts smiling. <laughs> and I was like, I just watched a horror movie with fucking doppelgangers and they did the same exact thing. <laughs> I was like, is this guy one of them? Uh, it, fuck, it scared the shit out of me. And like that whole week I just kept thinking about what if that shit is real? I mean, <laughs> it's creepy for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but as far as the movie goes. What about like the classic monsters? Like Dracula, the the Wolfman, Frankenstein. I was just never into them. I didn't grow no. up on them. My family was never really into horror. Definitely. Like, nobody. My cousin used to work horror nights, like, way back in the day, I think, but for, like, a year. Mm -hmm. And that's where I first heard that, like, oh, you can go do that kind of a thing? Yeah. And then, like, I'd only started going to Knott's, like, once a year since, like, 2008. And it was mm -hmm. just like, oh, you know, once a year I go with some friends, and, like, that was really it. Until 2012. I saw like the sliders really do their thing, and I'm like, dude, this looks like really fun. <laughs> I could do this, man, for sure. And I ended up asking like one of the monsters, like, how do you get a job here? I was that annoying kid, like, how do you work here? How do you do it? Job here? <laughs> yeah, and then he finally broke down. Shadow Guru. He was like, auditions are in August. And I was like, okay, cool, that's all I need. <laughs> I started nerding out on it after that. <laughs> Just after that whole year, he was waiting for August. Like, yeah, yeah, calendar, dude, marking down the days. Dude, legit, that's how it went down, man. <laughs> What about you, Allison? What, what's, what's, the, what's, what's the one thing about horror you don't like? That There's I don't probably like. a lot of things, actually. Well, for me, it's actually, like, the opposite of it. I do get really scared watching movies. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. Something about, like, seeing blood and gore on a screen, I, it just doesn't sit right with me. Really? Like, I get, like... I don't know how to describe it. Like, I get really nervous when I see it, and, like, I have to, like, look away. Okay. I can't look at it. So, I mean, I, you, I'm assuming you've seen the Saw movies, then. No. No? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any horror movies really. The Saw Only movie. just like clips of them. I don't I'm know. Just like yeah, I can't handle you this. You probably couldn't do the whole Saw franchise no. then. Like it's, I hate seeing that kind of stuff. That's all that is. I can't cool. watch it. That's disgusting. Saw. <laughs> that's disgusting. I got a, I got a it's high tolerance for, for it, and I think I watch it more for the for the actual guy who plays the killer rather than the kills. The kills are pretty creative, but I I see that and I, I just uh, it's mostly one of those for me. Mm -hmm. But um, so you mentioned going to. Or not, or not, like once a year. Did you go to any other haunts prior to this every year too, or was it just knots mostly? Not at all. It was always knots. Was always, what about yeah. you, Allison? Anything I else? Do you go to any of the other horror events as well, or was it for just me? I didn't go to another horror event until I started working knots. Wow. My first year going to knots was like, I think 2010. Okay. And then I went there every year until I started working there back in 2015. Nice. 
And then I didn't go to Queen Mary. That was the next horror event I went to until like 2016. How do you deal with those? I love those. You love those? Those I can handle. Okay. I don't know what it, what's the difference, but I can handle those for some yeah, that's, reason. Yeah, that's, 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 because like, you see a movie and it's a movie, but then you go to the thing and it's like... No, I can, like, some people are like the complete opposite too. They're like, oh, I can watch horror movies, but I can't go to Scary Farm. Yeah. I'm like, it I'm... It becomes too real. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I think, I think I'm on the same page though. Because yeah. you've seen me in mazes and you've seen me in movie theaters. It's great. I'm more of a wreck, I think, in a movie theater. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's the funniest thing you ever see. You feel him jump or he what? He does one of these. Are you like, I can't. So that's ready that's to, me. He's ready to go when that's the freaking me. jump scare happens. So you just go like no, I, I just like look down. I'm just like, I can't do it. I mean, I'm always here. like, ah, oh, it's predictable. When I get upset, I'm like, man. This movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like he's he's like waiting for us to have it and I'm over here like fuck I already know what's gonna happen. I was like it's too predictable. I know, I know it's gonna happen. It's the anticipation of when will it happen. That's actually like a type of scare that's really fun to do mm -hmm. is where I like to walk, <coughs> excuse me walk up to people and make them think that I'm gonna scare them. You know I just kind of stare at them and you can feel them like oh I don't he's gonna do something and then I just kind of lean in and I let them walk by and they're like oh my god what was he gonna do did he just do nothing the and anticipation then, you know, man yeah, just that alone like really I, I don't know if you guys it. ever caught you probably no you you could have been there but there was times where this guy would fall asleep on the bench right there <laughs> I don't I believe, know about that I believe one. it. I, I don't think I saw him fall asleep unless I just couldn't see because I was so oh, blurry. Actually, no, we did see it on the last end. I remember. Did it we? was somebody. <laughs> I was with somebody and we saw it. Yeah. I'm just. I, I'm telling everyone now because for next year, if I see you, I'm gonna whistle at you or something. Well, I'll just know now. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, freaking, we we talked to Hostel last night right after the show. He goes. So I didn't know you fall asleep at the haunt, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's a thing, and he goes. Oh, that's interesting to know now. Are we? I was like, oh, dude. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> dude. If you got a guy like Hostel that knows about it. Now you're fucked. Yeah. I, I don't know what, what it your life. was. Like, what it was there? about <laughs> that bench that put me to sleep. It's comfy, dude. It's a comfy spot. Dude, I wish I could sit there. Me, well, I tried sitting on a bench. I got yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got a track of the very Did first you really? night. Of, yeah, opening night. Right? I didn't know that. Well, I got a back spasm, and so... I knew that you got a track for something else, but... <laughs> <laughs> I got a back spasm opening night um, on one side of the saloon by uh, Calico Square, okay. and I couldn't um. really move, and I was like, Jesus Christ, I can't walk. <laughs> so I sat right like where those uh two like old <laughs> miners are sitting at the saloon on the bench yeah so i sat down just to like get my composure back and as soon as i sat down our cast lead was like you come here and i was like oh my god the first night dude <laughs> so she pulls me aside and she tells me you know you can't be doing that and i was like i'm sorry i got a back spasm that's why she talked about it at the meeting the next day <laughs> it all makes yeah. sense so she was like looking at you the entire time she was yep. saying it too yeah dude so she uh did she track me? No, she gave me a verbal that yeah. that's what it was. She's like, I'm not gonna track you, <laughs> but this is a verbal. I was like, alright. Right. Right. We'll we'll we're again. gonna start off the season. That's the only way to go. Yeah, yeah. Seth, you are insane when it comes to sliding. How did that how did that come to be? Like have you always slid as growing up or is it something that you you came to haunt, you just started learning it little by little? I started learning it, like I said, when I was just finding out about Haunt and like, you know, I think there's something I could do. That year when I started nerding out on it, I found out about sliding and I was like, dude, what the, like these guys actually go to practices and stuff? Like these guys are nerds, bro. Nerds, bro. <laughs> this freaking year later you see them at those practices. Yeah. Dude, legit, man. Remember when I called y'all nerds? Nah. Yeah, like, nah. I was kidding. I started like, I bought some cheap little Protex and like no gaskets on, just really thin pads. I made some thin gloves with washers on them and I started practicing in my garage with like one little maybe three foot wide lane just slide one way in and get up and come back run from my driveway and do it again just to practice on my own because I was kind of like a little too shy and nervous to go to the rink yeah. I was like all oh, those guys go there already <laughs> and um, I slid a little bit my rookie year just because um, Brandon Gaslin like one of the head haunters at uh, Haunt him and a lot of other CS vets at the time took me aside and were like hey dude, Come over here. We're gonna teach you how to slide. And I was like, okay, cool. So that's where I really started to learn was in CS. Yeah. And then when I went to Carnival, it really took off. And from then on, that's when I went to the rink a little more. I don't really go much these days, but 
I just I usually don't slide at all until dress rehearsal night. And oh, okay. then the first weekend is like, all right, we're back in it. Back in it. <laughs> back in the groove. Yeah. What about you, Allison? Are you are you able to slide or? Uh, I actually have never done it before. No, it would be something you want to try. I do actually want to do it by next year. My goal was to do it this year since I couldn't do it last year, mm -hmm. but it didn't happen. It man, didn't happen. It could have. It could be a dynamic duo that slides. I know. That's what I was telling him the other night. It's got to be one thing where like you come from one side, she comes from the other, and then yeah. meet in the middle. And He's going to teach me one of these days, but I told him I need a few months. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be dope. Yeah. Because we're going to be five across. Yeah. <laughs> Just like maybe. We'll make up some dumb shit. Yeah. I mean, we'll change our power laps from a lot of walking to like a lot both of, of us yeah. sliding at the same time. We'll yeah. have to get our timing down. Yeah. It'll be a whole new dynamic. Now, Allison, how many paddles did you go through this oh season? Oh, my God. <laughs> at least nine. Nine? I didn't count for sure, but I'm going to say at least nine. Because that was something that was a, a staple of your character this season, yeah. obviously. I mean, you just see her walk around just slamming on her It's hand. something that I didn't do last year, so... You just thought of it. I mean, that's yeah. a good... I actually thought of it halfway through last year. Okay. Because I didn't really have any props or anything. I was kind of just there. But I was like, I think I need something. Just something to... Yeah. Final. And I knew I wasn't gonna slide. So. What did you make those out of? They were made out of poster board. Oh, nice. Yeah. How long did it? How long did the process take to like cu cut it out a certain way? And well, the first time, like a good three hours. The first one I made. By the last weekend, I was making them in twenty minutes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. She's a pro already. She's just like, all right, I no, know I what just I want. Got lazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, I know what I want, and boom. I was like, I don't care what these people think. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see all the detail in the, the dark. The first one was so detailed, and I was so sad when I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> then it was like two nights would go, and she's like, well, this one's snapping already. Like, well, Not even two one. nights. I would break one a night towards the end of it. You'd be like halfway, and you'd see the crease in yeah. it already folding. And then by the end of the night, it was like flopping all over the place. That's hilarious. No, one of them I broke on purpose, like in half. Oh, yeah. You should have just done one of those things like you, you legit would get pissed and just break it. Cool I'd be like, oh, oh shit, that's intimidating. Room. Boom. Like, I'm not, no, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> I'm not I'm not dealing with that again. It might still be in that planner at moments. Yeah, remember, I told you guys about it. Was it was in the planner. I left it in the planner. I forgot it there. It's probably still there. I was there. like, it's still I like told Sammy too. I was like, oh, I dude. told you guys to go get it too. Did you? Yeah, I thought I you said wait to the end of the night. No, and I, I said I was you guys gonna... could go grab it. Oh, I, if I would have known that, I would have yeah. taken off my hands. We're not going to grab it. No, because we saw her, I think, in front of Birdcage at the end of the night, and she was just right there finishing off the night and then yeah. I was like oh dude she doesn't have a freaking paddle I was like I wonder if it's still in the, in the, in the, in the bush garden and it definitely was there it definitely was <laughs> and then we just got caught up in the moment and I just forgot all about it I didn't it. realize it until I met up with him later in the night like we were just mid conversation I was just like I left my paddle in the planter. <laughs> <laughs> I started dying laughing. <laughs> so I remember when she just put it down and she's like oh, I was like I'll get it later I'm just gonna put it here <laughs> <laughs> that's where you're gonna leave it <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get it. So what do you find the most, you know, what is really, really hard about sliding in Ghost Town? Because I, I, those, those floors are pretty rough. Yeah. Um. I mean, because we've gone to the other scare zones, and I like I go to Carnival, yeah. and I'm like, damn, that's smooth as shit. They got it easy here. Carnival. Or, or freaking even at CS, too. I, I look at some of the floors, and I'm like, oh, fuck, those are smooth. CS is butter. Everybody knows that's that. That's what I've CS heard. is like a dream I've heard the best. Down. The only thing is, it doesn't sound as cool as Ghost Town because Ghost Town's rough. Mm -hmm. So every little toe scrape is intense, like very loud. Um, even just movements, even if it's not even your toe cap, it's just like your shoe sole. Like you can still kind of hear your foot scraping. Wow. Yeah, but like CS is just like smooth. It makes it for a different kind of slide. Like I think I was a lot more fluid in CS. Mm -hmm. Carnival was. I don't know. Carnival is its own entity. Like, I can't even compare it really. It's <laughs> yeah. like a different. It's its own game. madness. It really is. And then when I came to Ghost Town, you know, the stereotype is everybody's like, "Oh, dude, we'll say goodbye to your toe caps. You're gonna have to buy like 30 <laughs> new caps, dude." And I'm, I was like, "Damn, I don't want to spend that much more money." And then I started sliding there, and the worst part is you just have to look out for the rough spots. It's very pick and choose where you want to slide in Ghost Town. Yeah. Compared to CS, it's like I can slide almost anywhere. <laughs> it don't matter where I'm going. How many injuries did you get a night from sliding? In Ghost Town? <laughs> That'd be one night I always I say, fucking hurt my knee. Yeah, yeah well, it's kind of just like lingering pain, and then it's There's like how bad some. did I aggravate it that night? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes for another slide, he goes, oh, yep, that's gonna do it for that. Yeah. yeah what he'd do, he'd be like, oh, my knee hurts so bad, I need to stop sliding. And then he just continues to slide. I'm like, what are you doing? You ask anybody, they'll, they'll keep doing it. Yeah. It's like, 
I don't know, when I like to go scare, that means like I want to go slide. Yeah. Like that's what I love. And honestly, it's like a lack of character work on my part, which sucks. But uh, <laughs> I like sliding. <laughs> it's just too much fun, man. I, I mean, it looks like it. you guys yeah. have a ton of fun out there. For me, like, I mean, I can scare without sliding and everything. It's like not an issue, but I just much rather prefer to be running around and and sliding, hitting slides, burning my energy because when yeah. I'm out there, like I want to just sweat like crazy and yeah. and just I want to drive home tired as hell, and that's kind of the goal every night. And it for sure happens because I almost sleep drive. No oh, man, <laughs> it's so scary. How <laughs> uh, with you. how sad was it on the last night for you two? Mm. Or is it one of those things that like yeah, it's finally over, I get to sleep again? A little both. Like I was a little sad, but it's always better. Definitely was looking forward to sleeping again. For sure, <laughs> and like resting my body. Mm-hmm. That's uh, I mean, I know for us, leaving that, those gates behind, I was like, I don't want this to end. Yeah. But my body was like, Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. Um, From a fan perspective, I think it's a little different. Yeah. Like the monsters, it's always bittersweet. Like we don't want it to end because we love what we do and we love the atmosphere. We love seeing everybody. But at the same time, like Allison said, we want to sleep. We want to get our, you know, physicality back in order. <laughs> like my body is just so broken down from it. Because especially, I know a lot of people who do this job, especially like coming out on a Thursday night, having to wake up on a Friday, Sunday night, having to wake up on a Monday. You guys work full-time jobs, too, yeah. on top of this. And it's like, it's it's really freaking hard to wake up that next morning. Like, you just want to turn off your alarm. I'm like, fuck it, I'm calling out sick today. Did that twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did that once. I did it once. I said, I need a rest day. Yeah. Bye. Especially on like a Monday, dude. It's like, it was a Monday. <laughs> I, yeah, ending that freaking. And then you guys probably wouldn't leave uh, like on a Sunday when they close at like one. You guys probably wouldn't leave to like two or three sometimes. Depending I was going to say he would. Yeah. I was he definitely out. would. He was out. Yeah. There was a couple nights where I waited up first so we could like hang out afterwards and do whatever, but like. Like twice. Typically, I was like, later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going like home, twice, dude. literally. Yeah, I'm tired, man. It's there was fine. one night you actually uh, came out of nowhere. We were just sitting, and you just came out and said hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that must have been one of those nights. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, all right, guys, I'm going to go make my rounds. I was like, oh, shit, that was yeah. cool. I just came out and said hi. I had to go say what up to my hollow boys. Mm-hmm. That was to the hooligans. That was kind of us. Like, oh, oh, God. I don't even that's know. the perfect way to describe those guys. Like, dude, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what like, they are. That's, that's the group name, dude. Yeah. It's the hooligans. I don't even know how they get away with half the stuff they do there. It, it's fun scaring with those guys, dude. I miss being with them all the time. I know. Yeah. Shout out CJ, Hudson, Doink. Now, when you started, did you guys start in mazes or you guys went straight to streets? I started in mazes. I, did, I did three years in mazes. What'd you do? I started in Toothberry as one of the nurses. Okay. And then the next year I went over to Voodoo and was one of the witch doctors. Nice. And then I went to Pumpkin Eater and was one of the wives. And then all of those ones, man. Right? Year That's after awesome. that was Ghost Town. All right. So you've had quite a maze jumping yeah, career. Yeah, I've been around. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's for sure. Been I've been around. <laughs> you've earned your stripes. Yeah, I have. I'm like this guy. I didn't earn my stripes. You went right to streets? I was a lucky son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. And they said, you're going to CS. I had an awful audition, by the way, my rookie year. Really? I got uh, Honestly, my I had, pretty, career. I had a pretty bad one, too. <laughs> <laughs> my whole career has been pure luck, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. No, you <laughs> but, um, yeah, rookie year was, I got CS, so I started in CS. And I've always just been on streets, so I don't know what May's life is like. I have no clue. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Right. Would you say it prepped you a lot for the streets? Outside? I honestly think it did. I wouldn't have been ready for streets my first year. Yeah. But um, like you said, you've been to what is it? Three mazes you three did. Three mazes, yeah. And um, so each year, did you find it difficult to get into a new character, or was it something like you can piggyback off other mazes that like, oh man, I like something I did from that character. Maybe I can. I mean, a little bit. Like. My favorite character was definitely my first year, which was the nurse character. I loved that character. Yeah. And then going into Voodoo the next year was kind of challenging because I didn't love the character too much. And like halfway through the season, I started feeling like I was ready to go to straights. Okay. So I was kind of getting bored of being in mazes. Yeah. And then the third year I was in mazes, I actually auditioned for streets and didn't get it. So I was pretty like not happy that year. Yeah. But I still had fun with it. I had a great cast lead. That's awesome. And he made it a lot better and I definitely learned a lot that helped me to get to streets. Of course between mazes and streets I mean 
mazes you're limited to one little area yeah, usually and then streets true. when you yeah. got into streets did you like have like having that freedom honestly just... i did like i remember when i first walked out there and like i saw how big ghost town was i was like oh i'm gonna have so much fun here yeah i'm and like this is so great i needed this and you said this was your second year in ghost town yeah year, this right? was my second year yes last year was my first so as a rookie did you did you roll with anyone last year i actually didn't i was by myself most of the time so solo yep and then you met up with seth this year and yeah I, honestly i started this year solo as well until he decided to follow me after rope job. So random. That's how it went. <laughs> it <was> random. <laughs> it's but one of those things where she was like, she looks married. behind him and says, just following. No, her. honestly, that's how that's how it went. Like, <laughs> like full creeper status. I was, just like, <laughs> oh, I was like, well, this guy's still here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I figured Allison was already all prepared to have another solo year, and then Seth came along. Then, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm usually I took a solo this, I took this too. rookie in. <laughs> this rookie. Yeah. 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 Rookie, yeah. they trusted you with this assignment. Yeah, I needed a mentor. Sorry, Trey. Wow. Trey was technically my mentor. Was he your mentor? Yeah, but he was like, <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> He's like, you're fine. Honestly, my mentor last year was Jeremy, and he said the same thing about me. He's like, honestly, I'm not worried about you at all. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> He's like, you've been at Haunt for a while. I'm like, yeah, I have. <laughs> I, I used to work with Trey at Carnival, so we, okay. we knew each other already. He's a beast. He what is. was some of your favorite scare tactics to use out there? I know there's like a lot of different ways you can do different stuff and Oh I'm sure you saw it. I love doing my kick. Thing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. it's iconic. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, I, I remember the week I think the week after I saw that I just started doing that at work like crazy. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like I'm I, always tell, people. I always tell other people to do it too. <laughs> it's fun because people just don't expect that. Scare <laughs> tactics. <laughs> Way to go, Sammy. <laughs> it was on it. <laughs> scare <laughs> tactics. Uh, <laughs> Allison, what are some of your favorite scare tactics to use? Ooh. Well, something that I would really like to do, I don't know if you knew this, but I would always like kind of go really close behind you because since I'm short, no one would see me. Mm. And then when you'd go to do something, I'd go the opposite direction. Oh. I love to do that. <laughs> now I get it. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's times where I'd be like, wow, where is she? And, and I'm literally behind right behind you, him. She's like right here. I'm like, oh God. Yeah. Scared. We're good. scared right yeah, there. No, boom. people wouldn't yeah. see me. But I love to do that. That was always fun. Um, I'm always a big fan of like the slow to fast movements. Yeah. Where you just like you catch someone off guard and then yeah. boom. Yeah. Or like uh, something else I like to do is like I like to look at one person and then just go for like some unrelated third party on the other side. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, those are the best ones. Right it's there. always funny because they don't expect it. Yeah. So there's a lot of interesting, uh, fun characters in Ghost Town yeah. for uh, you know different characters and stuff. Who, other than you guys working together, is there anyone else that you guys always love to sometimes have a little interaction with to kind of have a fun little shenanigan moment. Mm, I didn't really do any shenanigans this year. I didn't either, but like somebody who I really, really loved to interact with and watch was the other school teacher, Alicia. Oh, oh yeah. dude. Yeah. She is amazing. Me and Sammy have her, we call her, our nickname for her is Late Fees. Oh, she's the best. <laughs> Late but fees. we would we would sometimes have some really fun interactions. <laughs> we didn't know if she's a school teacher or a like librarian. I thought I went for straight. Teacher, yeah, she's yeah. a now, and I found that out like yeah. midway through, huh? But. So I, I mean, you can obviously see why we thought librarian. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. she carries the book yeah. around, and you just, you think, she's telling people to. Sh I'm more the principal. <laughs> yeah, I'm the mean. I always say I'm the mean one. <laughs> yeah, no, we called her uh, late fee just because it's so fact for the longest we thought she was a librarian. Yeah. So she actually interacted with me the first weekend when I was doing pre scare instead of rope drop. Yeah. For whatever damn reason. You I did pre scare? I, I didn't know that. Because what I was hurt, well, what I was being told was that like, oh, anybody new to Ghost Town, vet or not, you have that's to do pre scare. You goes, can't do rope yeah. drop. So I was like, oh, okay, that sucks. Whatever, I'll just go do pre scare again, like I did the year before. And then I noticed, like, dude, nobody's here, and everybody <laughs> that's a vet is just doing rope drop. I was like, I want to do rope drop. Come <laughs> over. <laughs> but anyway, that's I was that why you randomly showed up. Yeah, okay. like, hey guys, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm here now. But uh, I saw Alicia there at pre scare because she's a rookie. And she just started yelling at me, like <laughs> in full character, and I was like, I don't know what, what to do. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know what My to do. Is, aw is awful. Like, <laughs> so I just like cowarded from her, and she was like full on wagging her finger at me, and I was like, dude, this is intense. Like I'm scared right now. <laughs> and then afterwards, I was like, that was really fun. She's like, no, I loved yelling at you. I love <laughs> Thank you. you. Appreciate it. <laughs> she, Anytime. Like, the whole season, she was just looking for you at that point. She's yeah. like, I'm just gonna yell at him. I need to take that, though, out. Like, I didn't really have interactions with too many people other yeah. than little things here and there. Same. But Jackie was the one who actually would come up to me and start Jackie, growling. Jackie, yeah. She, she, just, would, like, she, she was, would do that to me, too. For her first yeah. year as a she-wolf, 
Oh, she kicked ass. She's, she's so good. Really it good. Dope. Yeah. Her and Alicia were like. Yeah, them together was always fun. It was so hard voting between them for our rookie. I heard about yeah. that. Yeah. It was. It's, it was hard I'm not gonna voting. say who I voted for. But yeah. Yeah. It was Keep it anonymous. For me. Yeah. Anonymous, man. Yeah. It was between them for sure. Oh man. Um. So I mean, what what, what would you find? You had the nights, of course. And we've talked a, bit, a lot about this with other guests where crowd wasn't usually the best always mm. and what do you what do you find method wise to kind of to deal with that like how do you guys even though you know there's going to be kids that are going to be of course little 14 year olds trying to be tough <laughs> as we like to call it the uh the babysitting nights um what, what is your way of just kind of dealing with that you can go first yeah no i think you should honestly because you're the one who did most of it I'm not gonna go into it in detail. Okay, it, yeah, yeah, I probably shouldn't. You <laughs> <laughs> Let's get like a PG kind of yeah, version, because you we'll know, tell you guys oh, after. We'll, we'll tell you guys after. But right, well, you know, I, you know who's gonna I be really watching did this out one. There was um, <laughs> just you gotta brush them off, man. Yeah. Like if you're witty, <laughs> it, like verbally witty, like Clay, uh, the toad, I wish I was. toad was. I wish. I know. I wish I was. Good I'm not, like but him. I. He's so quick with his tongue. Yeah. It's a great way to tell them to shut up without telling them to shut up. Yeah, you know he's got his quick remarks. Those are fun to do if you can get yeah, it out. Yeah, if you time. can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. But typically, you just shrug them off. Whatever. I didn't even hear you. Act like they're irrelevant. Don't even yeah. look at them. Then they're like, "What the heck?" Yeah. You know, you just leave them alone. If somebody touches me or something, I quickly like. It's just reaction because we're always kind of like, you know, on edge out oh, yeah. there. Yeah. Especially those busy nights. If somebody's like grabbing me, like I'm quick to be like, "Whoa, yeah. like, stop! Don't <laughs> touch me!" You know, there's actually somebody this season who tried to like grab her ass, and like I flipped the shit, <laughs> freaked out, and like yeah, wanted to did. go up on that dude. And, like that's a good partner right there. I no, wanted, he's he's the best. Because the funny like, thing is, I didn't even notice. He, like he comes up to me, he's like, "Did that dude just touch you?" I'm like, "What dude?" And he's like, "This dude over here." I'm like, "I don't think so." Uh, dude, yeah, I wanted to go off on that yeah. guy. I think I remember one year I went to to the haunt and Carnival actually. I forget what year it was. I think it might have been two thousand eight. And I just saw this dude straight up just go and fucking smack this clown ass. That. And then took off running the fucking security were right there and they fucking That's stopped good. him. I was like, well, that was security did something? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, this year I will say disclaimer yeah. disclaimer, security really stepped it up this year. They were around a lot. Yeah. Which was good. That was they there was did one night where we just saw them everywhere. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it was like a like one of they the, were like stationed. Like the last two Saturdays, I believe yeah. it was like a packed night and like supervisors were running everywhere. The security were running everywhere. They did like a full revamp of their security. They did, thing. I think. Yeah, and like I said, look, we just saw them everywhere this season. It was really cool. We did. I felt a lot more protected in that sense of like, there's at least somebody yeah. to turn to. There's mm-hmm. somebody. There's something that's gonna happen to us regardless. Like that just happens. Poor Jen and. Alyssa, the saloon girls got it like just the worst. They did, they did re- they, I heard they were renewed this year too. Yeah, they were both. And they new. killed it this year too. They were amazing. Both of yeah. them together was awesome to, to yeah. watch them. Those fans are so loud. They are. <laughs> yeah, those fans are ridiculous. I remember one night we were sitting in Kmart and one of the kids walks by and she did that and he goes, Oh shit, where'd I get that at? <laughs> I was like, What the fuck? I was like, Go to any 99 cent store, they sell them. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, they, they definitely got it the worst, I think. Like, we had, like, a, what's the, what do you call it, like, the word? Oh. If, like, something's happening or whatever. Word, we had a, yeah, like we did have a safe, what was, I never had to use it, so I don't oh, know. Oh, cactus. Cactus. Yeah, cactus. You yell cactus. that out. And, like, every night, look at Jen, and I was like, cactus? She's like, cactus. Oh, and she'd, man. like, be bummed out. I was like, what happened now? She's like, somebody spit on me. Like, just something, oh. yeah, just, like, something Yeah, they awful, got it bad. Dude. Yeah, it, it was. Did you make anybody bad. spill beer this year? Plenty. That's her realm. Though. What? Like, make anybody spill beer? Oh yeah, that's my thing. He knows. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's my favorite thing to do. Like I tar- I specifically target people with beer. You know what's funny is I was they, like, I'm gonna make uh, you waste uh, this twelve dollars right now. Yeah. And they blame you, but it's, in the reality, it's their fault because they don't have control. I know. I remember so, one I time like, I did that, fault. and our cast lead was sitting right there. She's like, "You should have drank it faster." Oh gosh! Should have it. Drops. I know, right? <laughs> Just go in there. No beer wasting. There's so many people that offer beer to yeah, us. Yeah, they so do. I'm like, they oh, offer beer. Man. They offer oh, food. They it's just like, ugh. Yeah. So tempting, but I don't know what you did to that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that, I, would, I would always be nice enough. I'd, I'd offer funnel cake to people. Oh, nice. I never, <laughs> never wanted it, but you know. In CS, I used to make people buy me churros. 
<laughs> Go find me a churro. And I would like I would get a bunch of people. Well, if somebody was walking up to a churro stand, I'd in character. I was like, buy me a churro. <laughs> Give me a churro. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, yeah, get me two. Actually, get me two. And I would just like see how far I could go with it. <laughs> they would just, they just buy, buy me churros. <laughs> that was By a, the end of the night, the freaking little breaker, he had like a freaking stack of no, churros. No, that's what he just said. Going. He said he would get them for his friends. Boom, there you I go. fed the team. He had a freaking <laughs> stack of them, and then he's like, all right, guys, churros. Churros on me, huh? That was good. You're welcome. Yeah. Good times, man. I was going through CS, handing them out. So I go back to the break room, I'm like, here's three. Got three. <laughs> that was good. That was fun. Then a little pot, like at the end, he just brings churros. <laughs> yeah. That was really fun to see or to do. But, um, yeah, I mean, this year was, like, very little shenanigans, like, at I all. I know. Like, I had all. more last year, honestly. Yeah. On my rookie year. I think if I ran solo, if I wasn't with her or anybody, I'd, I'd kind of dive into the mischief a little more. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we saw a lot between you two, though. Between uh, us? I, I we had, it, like, our own little things for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because yeah, every yeah. time I'd interact with you, Small I'd say scale. I'd say yeah. something stupid, and then you'd find it to, like, up my stupidity. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm like, this is the greatest guy ever. Yeah. I, I wish he I needs remember He needs to be on I, like, I think I remember the last night I was like, uh, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? And he's like, dance with the devil! <laughs> and then started yeah, doing some dancing. I was like, what just happened? Or, like, I'd go up to Alice and Alice, and I think someone would try to talk to Alice. There was, like, that guy that was, like, standing right there trying to talk to you or something like yeah. that. And then I'm like, what the fuck? Is this allowed? And then she'd yeah. look at me and go, not allowed? Not allowed? <laughs> it would just be, like, little stupid remarks yeah. that were just, like... Or, like, the first time we fucking gave you the card. Oh, yeah, I was like, this is a weird interaction. Yep. Am I getting a business card right now? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, in character, I was like, can you put this in my jacket pocket, please? <laughs> <laughs> Called can Sinatra. <laughs> Called Sinatra and everything. Sinatra. Um, I'm like, like, we've had so many, we had so much, such fun and amazing moments with you two. It I was mean, fun. It, it was, was literally, good time. every weekend we'd always be like, okay, what are these two going to do this weekend? Because we, <laughs> we like to sit there and be entertained and... You guys never disappointed. Dude, thank you. Thank you. A lot. If, you if we weren't like just going in circles yeah. forever. Him and I would have some nights where we just wouldn't stop for like a whole hour. We'd yeah. just keep going. No, and, like, I, I we'd understand get backstage that. And we'd see like, oh my God, it's like already nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I understand that. I mean, you can't just entertain us two forever. There's a whole <laughs> park of people who pay yeah. to no, go. Right, right. And, and we completely understand that because... Like I said, I mean, we were fortunate enough to get the interactions that we had. Uh, yeah. There was at least an hour a night where you guys would sit okay. there and we would just watch <laughs> you guys. Definitely at least an hour we'd be there. And just we it'd be, it'd be, spend some time. We, we spent some time. <laughs> it was, it was no, because we, we, we had a lot of fun just watching you guys. Even if we didn't get to talk to you, I mean, just yeah. watching you guys is always was always a pleasure. Yeah. It's always fun. I, l- I love being at Kmart. A lot of people... Yeah, a lot Not of people hate don't hate on Kmart, but no, a lot of people do hate on it. Actually, <laughs> ah, they do. It sucks, dude. No, no, I mean, yeah, I won't go over there. I'm like, well, you're missing out. A lot of the sliders hate on it because they're yeah, like, dude, the sure. ground sucks there, and it kind of does. But like, I made it work. I don't yeah. know. Like yeah. the middle of it is fine, but the outside is like, if you're a little like closer to the outside, like closer to the porch on either side. It sucks. Pretty bad. <laughs> There's a couple times where my pads would catch, and that's why I'd stumble out like, derp, derp. Yeah. Derp. We heard the story derp. about that, too. Shout out, Hostel. Yeah, we heard, he told us the story <laughs> of that. Oh, good. Oh, it that was that. hilarious. Yeah. And I was like, that makes so much sense. I thought you were just making fun of him just to make fun of his oh. character. And now, that I, and now that I heard the story last night, I was like, oh, it's even great. Oh, oh God. No. It's like a thing now. It was like backstage, like normal people. And we're like, derp, derp. Oh, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> On the last I couldn't help but stop doing it. I was playing Call of Duty this today, and every time my dad would derp. <laughs> they just died. Dude, it's funny. No, but meeting people like you guys makes this haunt so much better. It makes it one of the greatest fucking shows in the world. Thanks, man. We enjoy you yeah, we enjoy watching you guys every night. We had such a blast uh, just with interactions every night. Uh, we're glad that we got you guys on the show. Um, and we're doing this just to thank you guys because you guys put 110% every fucking night you guys go out there as a, as a team, the whole event. Even with people backstage that you don't get to see, there's 110% that goes into this event every night. Whether it be the worst night, whether it be the best night, slow night, freaking crowded night. Mm-hmm. There's that energy. We see it every night we were there. And we, we thank you guys for that. Because without scare actors like yourselves, this event wouldn't be what it is. Right. And we just loved watching you guys. 
there was a time where we were just we did everything so many times so we we're just like fuck it let's just sit down and see what these guys have to offer <laughs> i never really every time i've gone to events in the past it's been one of those things where i never got to really sit down and enjoy the scare zones right. it was always something that i just walked through to get to the next maze yeah this was the first year i actually got to sit in scare zones and yeah. actually enjoy the performance of scare actors so thank you guys Appreciate it, man. Thank it's you. people like you that make it fun for us. Yeah, we definitely. Like, wow, people are actually like enjoying this insanity that we're just like taking a part of for yeah. a month out of our lives, you know, <laughs> or seven yeah. weeks like this year was. It was a long uh, season. It was yeah, a long no, season. I mean, and like we like we said, there's you guys got full time jobs. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are away from like family and friends for that to sacrifice that, put it all on the line to put one of the greatest shows on. It's truly a blessing to watch you guys work and just to be in your guys' presence because a lot of people just look at you as horror scare actors. Me and Sammy look at you as our heroes because no you guys way. you guys get to bring our our, our stretch. Our, our, <laughs> you guys you guys bring our nightmares to life and that's why I think we're doing this show is because we didn't want haunt season end. We wanted to know more about you guys. We wanted to know more about stories, how you guys get prepared and everything. So this is why we're doing what we're doing. So we appreciate you. Dude, I was like really stoked that you guys were even doing this. Yeah. Because like nobody really, there's been like maybe a couple people have had like the scare actor podcast thing going on, but yeah. you guys are making it like a month long yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool to Featuring like. Featuring so many different people, which is really cool. Yeah. yeah. And, and we were just shocked to get the people that we yeah, got. Yeah, you guys got a lot of really cool people. Just like in general, we were just like, did we just get this person on the show? Yeah. Did we, did we get them? We, we, we thought we were going to get a lot of like notes. No, you, yeah, you guys got a lot of really cool people. Yeah, and we, we've met so many people outside of the character that yeah. you would, like, you know, you see one version of them at the haunt, but then when they're done with haunt, they're a whole different person. Mm -hmm. And I like that because you get to see who the real person is behind the mask, behind the scary. And it's just been a blessing. It's been fun. Um, we've met, like I said, we've met and made so much new friends. And going to the event next year is going to be even more fun now that we know more about the backstory of these characters now we know more of the, of the people who play these characters it's going to just make it a lot more fun for us because now we get for to sure. not only just go to see you guys work but we get to go watch our friends have a good time right dude. I, so I think that's like what we really start to love about knots or like why it becomes so like a part of our lives is the relationships you build after working it yeah. mm -hmm. even just one season is like i know all these different people now i never thought i'd meet i'm doing something i never thought i'd do before yeah of like you're around so many creative type people like dude shout out to the makeup artists oh yeah all the carpentry dudes build guys they're doing everybody they tearing do so stuff much. down now they do so much man yeah. it's like way beyond what us mm -hmm. monsters just do yeah. you know those yeah. guys do that, and then they become monsters, and then they take it all down afterwards. Yeah. And yeah. all the audio text, the costume, wardrobe, everybody, dude. It's, it's it, when it it's when it all comes cool. together, yeah. it puts on this fucking event that we get to oh, yeah. be fortunate enough to go to every year, and it's keep going. Um, any before we sign off, anything you guys want to plug in social medias or just anything you guys? I guess my uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't Instagram, I guess S J G. <laughs> there you go. I don't really Tag post it anywhere. On this. I don't know. <laughs> Allison's pretty off the grid. She's I, just, I really she's am. just doing life, man. I'm just <laughs> doing me. That's how it is. That's how it's gotta be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been another pleasure to do Character Appreciation Month uh, with another two amazing duo right here. Um, be sure to, of course, uh, stay tuned. We got a lot more guests coming on the show. Should be really fun. We've had so much fun thus far, and we can't wait to see what's next. Um, of course, follow us on social media, Twitter at Knights of Horror and Instagram at The Knights of Horror. And if you're feeling extra generous, uh, follow us on Patreon and become a patron because, uh, you know, there's a lot of tiers you can join. Yes. From a dollar to $20. Yes. But just the support from the channel is always enough if you want to go to the extra round. Yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave some comments below. Make sure so these guys can read them, all the kind words. I'm pretty sure they look forward to seeing that. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, this is another episode of Scary Appreciation Month. Logging off. Peace. Later, dudes. See ya.